Valerie Fisher has been using a wheelchair since her accident seven years ago. At the early stages of her recovery, Val was determined to walk again. That's it. We're off. But now, with the help of this robotic suit, known as the exoskeleton, she can. Every step that Val's taking is just imitating the natural walking pattern, just like Matt behind her. To get a little bit techy, there's a motion sensor which is just there, which detects forward movements and turns them into steps. Suddenly, my whole vision of the world sitting down was totally wrong. When I stand up in that suit and I go outside and I look at the view, I'm looking at it at the right level. And I can't, I don't know what that, how to describe that, but I'm at the right height for, for where my brain is. Research going into this kind of technology is developing, with companies across the world competing to replace the wheelchair. But there's still a long way to go. It's fantastic because you can move as you want. Having uh, a fully functional uh, exoskeleton that can help uh, a person who is completely paralyzed, but it's not yet that we can have an exoskeleton that moves you as well as a as, uh, body. But the exoskeleton isn't the only piece of kit helping disabled people to walk. Charlotte, do you want to go in the opposite? Charlotte's got cerebral palsy, which affects the movement in her arms and legs. She's excited. All she wants to do is play with her twin brother. And this new piece of equipment called the Upsy is giving her the chance to do that. Which way? You want to go that way? Yeah. Right, let's go. I've watched the twins walk down the road holding hands together, which was just so emotional and such a special, special occasion for me and something that we could never have achieved without the Upsy. But for people who use wheelchairs or even mobility scooters, is walking the be-all and end-all? There's often the belief that their main desire is to walk again. What's your take on that? You'd probably find that other health issues, um, things like returning to work or getting into employment, raising families, lots of issues that don't necessarily involve walking around are probably more important once you get used to moving around in a wheelchair. The exoskeleton doesn't mean the end of the wheelchair by any stretch, but for these ladies, it's given them that all-important choice. Nikki Fox, BBC News.